There are three key points when going out to buy cattle. One, before you even go to the mart, you want to sit down and identify what you can afford to pay based on your production costs. Not what your neighbour can afford to pay or not what the person across the ring can afford to pay. Two, you want to buy frame and not fat. You want to buy an animal that has the potential to grow and therefore you want to avoid buying fat animals. Especially, this is especially important in the case of weanlings. Finally, you want to buy a, an animal that has potential to go up a grade in terms of conformation. You want to buy an ore that will feed into a ewe or even an o that will feed into an ore. All too often, too many farmers buy a ewe and sell an ore. We all want to achieve the highest price possible whenever we're selling our cattle. However, in order to achieve that high price, it's important that we are producing what the high price markets are prepared to pay for. What do these high price markets require? It's quite simple. One, carcass is greater than U or R grade. Two, carcass is not exceeding 400 kilos. And three, carcass is with a fat score of 3 or 4L. I'm now going to go and put two bullocks into the crush and look at where you should handle and select cattle for pre-slaughter. Monday, guys. So, we've two cattle here in the crush. Two cattle, one bullock here around 680 kilos, this guy 720 kilos. So, both cattle are going to kill out, suitable for the higher price markets, they're going to kill under 400 kilos. They're both ore grading cattle, they're not U grading cattle, as you can see, they're not deep enough here in the round, but they have a good square hind quarter, they have a good loin and a good shoulder on them. So they're two ore grading bullocks, however, not both of them are fit for slaughter. If we look at handling a bullock and where to handle an animal for slaughter, you're basically looking at feeling along here the loin. This is your strip loin and you're looking at the level of fat here and what you should be doing is digging your hands in so you can actually feel the level of fat over the loin and in along the ribs. What you want to look for, if the ribs are visually exposed well then obviously there's not, not a big covering of flesh but as you can see in both these bullocks, this, the red limousine here and the charlotte they have a good covering of the flesh but if we stand back and you can visually see that the charlie has a much, a much higher covering of flesh, a much better covering of flesh over the rib here compared to the limousine. The limousine is around a fat score of 3, whereas the charlie guy here, he'd be approaching on a fat score of 4L. And what would happen if you kept feeding this bullock for another 3 or 4 weeks? He would then go into a 4H and push himself out of that market, for uh, that, that higher price market. Also, a good indication, probably more so on heifers than on bullocks, but a good indication is the layer of fat around the tail head. You want to feel around here. As you can see, this bullock is only really starting to come fleshed. There's not a lot of fat around the tail head. But this guy here has a much higher level of fat around the tail head. You can actually see it sitting up. So, what we can basically say, we've handled the two bullocks. The Charlie bullock is ready for slaughter. The red limousine bullock, he's coming fit, but he needs another couple of weeks.